This is Scott with EffectiveDog.com. I'm blue's butt. This is a hard video. Trigger warning. Bell's been gone since February 2023. And I've lived with it. Just, you know, she's now that she's in a better place, but sharing the life that we've had together. And the memories and had fun and stuff. And then for some reason, it hit me. She's gone. I've got the memorials, I've got her paw prints, I've got her ashes, I've got her picture hanging up because. Of Tracy made a necklace for us, so she rides with me, us, me and Blue, but when I see pictures of her and she makes me smile, but it just hit me, she's gone. I think I was thinking about how those that love you will guide you. And I think I have to look at Belle now as a guide. So I have to look for her. I have to look for her outside. I see her, I see Blue doing stuff that she does that he wouldn't do before. <laughs> but she's in the same category as Elliot. And Roxy. She's a guide. I don't know if she's ready to be a guide or I'm ready for her to be a guide. <laughs> it's taking me this long. Maybe she's ready and she's let me know. It just hit me. It just hit me. What do you think? Bell is now. those things that I can look up to help me feel connected, to help me realize that there's more than just me and blue. Don't kick me. I'm having a moment. It's just interesting. <clears throat> How certain moments of grief can just hit you. And I always wondered why. This is the first time I've cried over Belle. And I'm pretty sure many more are going to come. Not that I don't have blue or friends or things like that. It's not that blue's not, we're not bonding or having other things. I just always, just 
I don't know, she just felt like she was categorized in a safe spot in my heart. And I went to go take a nap. And that's when my brain loves to go think about this. And I feel that grief is a very important part of healing. And I just got a visual of Belle being like a next chapter of something else of where she's supposed to be at, I guess. I'm going to look through Belle as a guide. Where is she? Yeah, I don't know. Just one of those things that hit me. Just thought I'd share. Grief is real. And it's just interesting how long it took my brain to go, ah, guess what? I haven't cried over her. I think I did once. Well, I definitely cried when she passed away, when I helped help her cross over. But it's February and it's August. It's the first time I've actually just sat there and let that really sit in my head that she's going to be one of those that we say, hey, look for the signs. They're always around you. I mean, my dad and I weren't close. My stepdad and I weren't close. My dad and I are not close at all because I don't know who the fuck he is. But my stepdad, not a great relationship at all. But yet, there's things that will happen that I know he's around. And it's not like I'm all happy and grateful to see signs of him. Blue does things that Elliot would do that I don't see in any other dog besides those two which is a trip and I really try not to think about that because that really creeps me out that's two individuals I love very very much and now Belle my baby blue princess aka mouse I got to accept she's now a guide and she's going to show me, show me things. Help me lead the way. She's going to get me in fucking trouble. But well, we are connected and we're supposed to feel things and feel it. I just wanted to share that with you. Feel free to share any of your stories of your loved ones that have passed on or that you miss, that you think about, that you know are helping you. Because it's something we all go through. If you have a, if you love somebody or if you have a relative or a friend or we're all going to die. We're all connected. We all have relationships. Like Paul Kearney, no, but not, everybody knew him from Facebook, but it was a sad day when he left. His dogs are still alive, as far as I know. It's been a few years. A couple. He was a popular trainer. Blue's actually wearing his collar. Yeah, you are. So I'm going to end this. I just want to share my little moments of grief with you to help you understand that it's shit is real. And I'm really proud of those that post on social media and share stories and keep their stories alive. I think I feel better. We'll find out. This is Scott on Hickory, uh, Apache, and Southern Newt Stolen Land. Coming to you from my bed. 
well, the cabin when I'm not on the road.